Well, yes, there is a quota constitutional equities new view which has come out on the AGM. They have maintained their optimistic outlook. Several projects related to the six growth engines are expected to go on stream in the next two years as per the company in the AGM. But Kotak indicates that recovery in generics API is unlikely to help bridge the gap from the lower Molnupiravir sales that the company is expected. And hence, they are estimating only a 2% CA, EPS CAGR over FY22 to FY25. Despite a recent correction, valuations still remain elevated, according to them. And uh, they have a lower D rating versus global peers in FY22. Now, Kotak has a reduced rating on the stock with a target which is unchanged at 3475. Remember that Divis has corrected significantly. It's down over 30 odd percent from its 52 week low, uh, sorry, 52 week high, and it's corrected around. 12% from its Q1 FI23 numbers, where its margins slipped below 40%, and that was quite a disappointment. Also, the fact that they're not, they do not have clarity in terms of Molnupiravir's API supplies going forward as well. Okay, Ikta, thanks a lot for that. By the way, just look at RBL Bank. That 10% freeze opened, and within a minute, it's now at 15% freeze. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, you know uh, the. You know, because in an FNO stock now you work in five percent additional price band, so ten percent happened. I guess a lot of this is also short covering because it's expiry tomorrow, and the RBL Bank has been one stock where you have seen huge amount of shorts, uh, uh, and now you're seeing uh, some moves. So this today's move actually is uh, really big. I mean, one thought yesterday's move was big, but that now pales in comparison. Today it's just one wave, uh, hundred and. 20 almost on that stock, up 15%. We'll take a break. Once we come back, uh, we have Sandeep Shah joining us. Uh